So the real question is, does having a restroom attendant really create a superior customer experience? Well, you know, the customer experience in an airport restroom isn't really hard to figure out. You want it to be clean, and you don't want long lines. So when the plane landed in Charlotte, I got off the plane. We were in Concourse B. The restroom's right around the corner from the gate. In we went, and uh, it was clean. There was a line, though. But before I could begin to start looking around, I heard this real friendly, cheery voice saying to me, Hello, Boston. Get it? So I said, Hello, back. And uh, I said, How you doing? And uh, in a voice sounded for all the world like Tony the Tiger. The answer I got was, I'm doing great. How about you? Well, I was doing fantastic. So I told him I was. And he showed me right where to find a stall that didn't have any lines. Huh. So now I've got a clean restroom. I got no lines. And I got a cheerful, friendly greeting. After I took care of business, I went up to the sink. And before I could get there, why, there's my new friend, wiping down the sink, making sure it's spotless and shiny for me. And as soon as I finished washing my hands, why, there's a towel in my hand. All the while, he's keeping up the chatter with every guest that's coming into the restroom. Hello, Harley Davidson to one. Hello, Charlotte to another. Welcome home. On and on he went, never letting down for a second. As I walked out of the restroom, one last shot across my bow. See you later, Boston. Have a safe flight. And yes, I was smiling as I left because I'd had a superior customer experience in an airport restroom. But you know, the real story here isn't that there's an attendant in an airport restroom. And it isn't even that that can make a superior customer experience. The real story is the attendant himself. You know, think about this for a minute. What's this guy's job? He's an attendant in an airport restroom. So let the stereotypes wash over you for what that would feel like, what that must be like. But let me tell you something. This guy wasn't having any of it. He was having a great day. He was doing a fantastic job, and you know what? It was clear to me, and probably clear to everybody else, that he was proud of the job he was doing. Now, if you want to talk about commitment in leadership, talk about the leadership at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, who have managed to sell the importance of a superior customer experience to a restroom attendant, so much so, He's proud of what he does. That's leadership.